Hi, this is Joe with Line 6, and in this video we're going to create an Amplify Tone based off the Jimi Hendrix song, Purple Haze. Once we have the Amplify Remote application open, we're going to go to the top left portion of the screen and select the Editor from the main menu. Now that we have the Editor open, we need to select the correct amp type. On the left hand side, we're going to select the Amp icon, and we're going to select the 1968 Plexi Jump Lead. After that, we're going to select Done on the right hand side, and let's go ahead and audition our amp. What we want to do is bring the drive and tone controls up a little bit, and we're going to keep the channel volume the same. Next, we're going to select the cab icon on the upper right hand side. We don't need to make any changes to the cabinet or microphone modeling, but we're going to bring the early reflections down a little bit. Now that we have our amp where we want it, let's go ahead and start adding in some effects. The first thing we're going to turn on is the gate, just to pull out some unnecessary noise. We don't want a really heavy gate effect, so we're going to bring the threshold up a little bit and then bring the decay up around 80%. After that, we're going to turn on our volume pedal as well. The first actual effect we're going to bring in is a wah, and we're going to switch that from the Weeper wah to the Chrome Custom model. The wah effect can be controlled using the expression pedal in your FX100. If you're an Amplify 150 or 75 user, you can control the wah using either an FBV Shortboard Mark II or an FBV Express Mark II. We're going to turn it off and move on to our first fuzz effect. After the wah, we're going to select a stomp box, and then we're going to choose Facial Fuzz. We're going to pull the drive down and kick the tone up. After the facial fuzz, you'll notice that we have a U-Vibe pedal placed after it. This effect isn't used in Purple Haze, but if you want to use this for other Hendrix presets, it will come in handy. Next, we're going to add another fuzz pedal in. This time from the stomp box category, we're going to choose the octave fuzz. This effect we'll use for any lead part in the song. In typical rock and roll fashion, we're going to turn everything up a little bit. You'll see after the amp and cab, we have a compressor and EQ available for us. We're going to keep those off for this preset and select our reverb at the very end. From our reverb options, we're going to choose small room. Turn it on and give it a listen. <laughs> We're going to bring the decay, pre-delay, and tone up, and keep the mix where it's at. We've now created a preset based off of Jimi Hendrix's Purple Haze. So the final thing we want to do is save our preset. At the bottom of the screen, we're going to select Save Info. From here we can save and store our preset internally to Amplify. And by selecting Auto Fill Song Info at the center of the screen, we can actually grab the song's ID tag and store it within the preset itself. At the bottom of the screen, you can type in any notes or information you want to put and store it within the preset as well. Select Save Tone at the top left, and we've now saved our tone to amplify. Once the tone is saved, we can hit Share on the right hand side, and we can publish our tone to the Line 6 Tone Cloud. We can tweet the tone, or we can post it to Facebook. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.